Hello, my fine and fabulous friends. Welcome back to 31 Days of Your Scrapbooking Q&As. Today's sponsor is CaptureYour365.com, a community for ideas, support, and inspiration for your everyday photography. The site includes a welcoming community, a gallery, and photography classes in language you can understand. Today's question comes from Amy. She says, Lane, I have a question for your series. How do you decide when photos are scrap worthy? Like sponge worthy, a little uh, Seinfeld reference there. I take 20 to 50 photos per week, hundreds on a vacation, so I'm obviously not going to scrap them all. My latest pattern is not even to make a page involving all the photos I print. Some I just jam into those Project Lifestyle page protectors with slots and a journaling card, but I'd love to hear someone else's criteria or perspective on evaluating the scrap worthiness. Amy, great question. Thank you so much for asking. I think it starts before you even take the photo. Um, I think I'm, I, I would say that I'm very deliberate about the photos I take. I don't take photos of everything. I oftentimes don't even bring my big camera with me and rely just on my iPhone. But even then, I'm not constantly walking around with my camera or my phone in my hand taking photos of everything like a, a, a documentary photographer. That's not really what my goal is. My goal as a scrapbooker is to capture the special moments in our family's life and also to capture the everyday, the things that make our family unique and the things that uh, in my mind stand out as a representation of our life here and now. That doesn't mean I take photos of my whole day all through the day, kind of like the Google Glass is going to do, record your entire life. That's not what I want to do. I don't want to blog. Um, my cat walked across my keyboard. I had um, chicken soup for lunch. That's not really what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to capture moments rather than every moment, if that makes sense. So I don't take all that many photos. And when I do have my photos, I develop very intentionally as well. I don't develop every photo. If I have 50 photos from my vacation, I might only print a fraction of those, less than half, because I don't need to take photos of everything. I don't need to capture if we went to Hawaii, a picture of the beach and a picture of the hotel and the picture of the coconut. I could buy postcards to do that. What I want to get instead is those little moments that stand out in my mind as as um, memories for our family. Maybe it's when Callie um, fell asleep under the palm tree, or maybe it's when all three kids were up on surfboards at the same time. Those are the moments I'm looking for, not we walked on the beach, we picked up a shell, we laid out our beach towel, we laid in the sun, we played in the waves. That's not what I'm trying to do. Instead, I'm relying on the photos to support the story rather than having my scrapbook support the photos, if that makes sense. So I approach my photos in two ways. One is I will intentionally take a photo to support a story that I want to tell that I don't already have a photo of. And then two, when I have photos from an event or a period of time, I will look through those to determine which photos best support the story I want to tell. Or does that photo capture something unique or does it tell something unique about my family or about our life right now? I hope this helps. I know we've got tons of photos out there. I know we have the potential to print thousands upon thousands, and it's really not necessary. Go back and think about what your goal is as a scrapbooker. Is it really to document every single second of your family's life, or is it to document those special moments and those special stories? And then every once in a while to document the every day, maybe a day from beginning to end, like a day in the life, something like that. Just be more intentional about the photos you take, more intentional about the photos you develop, and then more intentional about about the stories you tell. Thank you so much for submitting your question. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more fun and games.